On Your Side at 10 with 10 minutes of nonstop news. And the On Your Side forecast starts now. First a break-in, then a monkey found with fatal injuries. It all happened early this morning at the Boise Zoo, and the hunt is now on to catch the suspects. Eric Fink spoke with officials at the zoo, and he has details on tonight's big story. Rachel, we learned tonight the monkey died from blunt force trauma to the head and neck. This crime unfolded early this morning around 4.30 as security guards spotted two people who broke into Zoo Boise. When police arrived on scene, the suspects escaped and a monkey was spotted outside the primate exhibit laying on the ground. He died a short time later and now the zoo community is heartbroken, wondering just who could do this. It, this was a needless thing to do. Zoo director Steve Burns got the call around 5 Saturday so, morning. Yeah. One of the facility's monkeys found dead just feet away from its home. The cause of death, blunt force trauma to the head. Boise police continue to search for two male suspects wearing dark clothing who reportedly broke into the zoo. The monkey was found laying on the ground next to the perimeter fence near the primate exhibit where the suspects were last seen. Burns was tasked with breaking the news to his devastated staff. There's no reason for, for this to happen, and so um, everybody here is taking it very hard. Uh, the zoo staff was very upset. Lots, lots of tears and um, confusion, anger. The Pattis monkey was one of two species of its kind to call this setting home. According to Burns, Pattis monkeys are rare African primates. He estimates only 50 live in zoos throughout the United States. Tonight, this sad and shocking animal death has some of you on Facebook outraged. Linda Slattery writes, how low can people get? Hope they find them and lock them up for years. Dave Hill says this kind of behavior will continue until the people of Idaho say enough is enough and tell their elected leaders to pass stricter animal cruelty laws. This crime leaves only one Pattis monkey in Boise, and because it's a social animal that thrives on interaction, Burns worries about the possibility of having no choice but to relocate the surviving monkey. If we can't find another Pattis monkey, we may need to send this Pattis monkey to another zoo that has uh, Pattis monkey so that it will be appropriately with members of its own species. And now members of our species ask why just how one of us could commit such an apparent heinous act as this community copes with this unexplainable tragedy. And tonight within the hour, Today 6 learned that investigators found a hat at the crime scene that they hope will lead to an arrest. It's a gray ball cap with a skull and wings design. Police also collected blood evidence at the crime scene. They don't know whether the blood from the, whether that was blood from the monkey or possibly a suspect. Now, if you have any information about this crime, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers at 343 COPS. Boise Police offers a $1,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. Live tonight, Eric Fink, Today 6 on your side. Thank you, Eric. Well, over at Broncos.